amazing yard sale pickup for $5 and they sold this for $240. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, we are going to dig in to some big money bolos. 34 of them coming your way. And these come from my featured Bolo Buddies members, members of my YouTube channel that are sharing their bolos with all of us to help us learn. Um, I'm going to start by sharing with you which channel or which eBay store shared the bolo. And then we're going to dig into three of their bolo items. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Wait until you see these bolos. Wow. All right, let's get started. The first item comes from Flipping It Good. And he is so close to 2K. So go down to the description and make sure that you subscribe to his channel. And he is definitely a bolo finder. So make sure you go down below and subscribe to his channel. He is a bolo finder and he sources at so many different places, but he's the retail arbitrage guy of the group. He goes out to like Burlington and um, what's the other one? Ross, places like that. And now he's buying lost cargo pallets. And right here's a video on it. So go check that out. All right, let's see what he has here for us. The first item are these Nike men's size 13 soccer cleats. He picked these up at Ross and he paid $26.99 for these and took a best offer of $250. And these do not have the original box. And if you check, if you've watched my channel for a while, you have seen me feature many, many shoes. This is not just like a one-off. He does this all the time. It is amazing. He just knows what to buy. So highly recommend his channel, especially if you're wanting to do retail arbitrage. Okay, the next item is this Cole Haan men's size 50 check sports coat. Great size, a little harder to find. Um, this one he picked up at Burlington Coat Factory for $12.99 and he sold it for $120. It is new with tags and it's only the sport coat. He's just, I believe, has it on, you know, so the mannequin's not just bare chested underneath. So definitely a nice retail arbitrage bolo right there for you. The next item is these Knickerbocker Vintage 1973 The Campbell Kids Soup Dolls Plush. Check these out. Now, this one is not a super big money, but it's kind of unexpected and fun. And I think that's why he threw this one over to me. I really enjoy selling plush and toys. And another thing you notice here is these items are not in mint condition. They have some condition issues. Um, like, look here. Look at the arm. And these still sold for $30. So that is fantastic. Here's the little tag. Let me get you a close up. This is a great brand to look for right here. Knickerbocker. That's how you spell it. So be on the lookout. He got this at a yard sale for $1 and sold it for $30. The next items come from Money Making Mama. And this is her YouTube channel. And she sources a little bit differently. She goes in and does retail arbitrage. But she goes to a place called Dirt Cheap. And she sources in um, kind of like, I don't want to say wholesale, but she sells things kind of at wholesale in bulk, in lots. So I'll show you what I mean here. Definitely check out her channel if you want to learn more. So 12 of these, um, they're hair mask. And so she picked all of these up at Dirt Cheap. She paid 25 cents each and she sold 12 of them for $35. And she still has three lots left. So she went in, she paid a quarter for all these, and now she has four identical listings. One has sold, three are left. It's, you know, multi-quantity is great because you just list it one time, put the quantity in, and you're done. And you just wait for it to sell. So that's the first one. The next one are these um, Nair for Men. And these she paid $1.50 each and she sold five for 50. So she did end up taking a best offer of $50, which is still $1.50 into 10 each. And the other set is still left for $89.99. So she has another set she can still sell for more than 50 if some if the right buyer comes along. But 50 is fantastic. And the next item is this Dramamine. 
and 12 wholesale resale lot of Dramamine motion sickness relief tablets, um, original 36 count. So there's 12 of them here. So she's wholesaling it out to somebody. She paid $1.80 each, 12, and sold 12 of them for $99.99 with free shipping. So really a, a really cool thing she does. Check out her store. It's linked down below also. Electric Garage Sale does not have an eBay store. And he goes into estates and cleans them out. So he usually has some pretty cool finds in his store. So again, no YouTube channel, but check out his eBay store down below. You're definitely going to see things that are different. Okay, I like it. He put the ruler there. That's good. <laughs> Adult only item requires verification. Good. I'm glad to see that because um, I know when I'm going through eBay and I, I've done research for videos, a lot of times I see things that should be in a different section. So I'm glad he covered that up. All right. So let's go on to his first item. His first item is this new Jabra Bluetooth speakerphone, opened box but complete. He got this at the Goodwill for $2.99 and he sold it for $49.95 plus shipping. So right there's a barcode. All you got to do is scan that and that's going to tell you exactly what these items are selling for. You just go to eBay and you search sold comps. The next item here is this vintage antique wheelwright traveler measuring wheel wooden handle. And he got this. And an estate clean out, and he sold it for $59.95 plus shipping. So, really cool vintage antique item there. The next item is this antique vintage Stanley number 78. It is a Rabette Philister plane. Um, he has sold quite a few of these planes. I, I guess just type in the information on it and search solds. Um, he sold this for a best offer of 125 and that's another one that came from an estate clean out. All right, the next one comes from Franklin Hill Ventures and he is over on what now? Hold on, let me try that again. What not? He is selling on what not also. So he sells on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. Um he has flea market or flea what do you call those? Booths. The booths at like the flea markets. And now he's on Whatnot. So check him out over on Whatnot and check out his other links down below. All right, what did he sell? He sold this History of Georgetown County, South Carolina hardback book from 1990. He got this at a thrift store for $1 and he sold it for $65.47. And you can see here, he shows this inside of the book. Important information, some photos of the inside of the book. And condition shows the condition. All right, he got this Denby Stoneware flat cup and saucer, and you're looking like $7.59. Why are you showing us this? Well, I'm showing you this because this is a discontinued pattern, and what he decided to do was sell them individually. And so basically, he bought probably a set and then did quantity eight. So he's selling the same item eight times for $7.59. Now, I don't know if the same buyer bought them all or um, what, but $7.59 times eight. And let's see, he paid 50 cents each and the buyer was all in for uh, $45.54. So that's what happened. They bought them all. So he still had to package them together. Eee! No fun there. 1966 geologic map of Tennessee, 49 by 31. He got this at a yard sale for free and it sold for $37.95. Ephemera does sell. A lot of times ephemera is more long tail, but a lot of times you can get it at, you can get it free or really, really cheap. I was at a yard sale um this past weekend and there was a whole box of ephemera and they just it was free. So I brought it home and I have a video coming soon of what I found. The next item comes from Zeph. Eclectics. I always have trouble with that word. Unique Treasures Everyday Savings. Here we are. This is their store. Super fun. She does this with her kids and just lots of fun items. She is a newer reseller. So go down, check out her store and show her some support. And let's see what she sold here. The first item she sold 
are these Beginner's Bible VHS set. It's 11 VH, um, VHS. So let me show you here. The story of the nativity, the story of creation. So you got 12 of them here. Never seen these before. Um, they are VHS. And it looks like she sold these for $65.99. She got them at the Goodwill for six bucks and they sold overnight. The next item is this Octonauts um, playset. Okay, so I just want to read to you what she wrote here on um, when she sent me the information. It says, I had just finished checking out at our normal Goodwill and my boys walked up to me and say, ha, you think all those things in your Carter Bolos? Check this Bolo out and showed her this Octonaut, Octonauts Rescue Gup vehicle. And she said, shout out to Courtney for teaching us about the Octonauts and my boys for spotting it. So her and her boys watch my channel, which when she told me this and she said she wanted to be on the video so that her boys could see this, I was so excited to do this. So boys, fantastic job remembering to pick up Octonauts. High five. All right, the next item is this Octonauts Gup W Reef Rescue Playset. She picked this up new in the box at the Goodwill for $5. And it sold in five days for a best offer of $150 uh, plus shipping. The next item she sold are these vintage stickers. Um, she said they came with a camera that was a bad buy. And she found the stickers in there. The camera sold for $12. And um, she ended up selling these stickers for $27.99. So the stickers were technically free because they were just in with this camera. So pretty cool idea. And she said, I do believe that she learned about selling stickers from the Facebook group. So if you guys are not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, definitely go over there and join. So those are the stickers. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's see here. Moving on to the next one. This one is Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. One of the coolest stores ever. I tell you guys that every time because this this lady can source. I'm telling you, amazing stuff. I always like looking through the first page. Um, super cool, super cool items. All right, let's see what she found. She found this Yadro. Um, it's a giraffe. Let me show you the bottom. Let me see. Does she have a picture? Did she not do a picture of the bottom? She didn't. Hmm. I was going to show you what to look for, but she didn't do a picture of the bottom. Or for some reason, you know how sometimes when you load them and it doesn't load or you close it before it loads all the pictures? That might have been what happened. She got this at a thrift store for $14 and it sold for $184 plus shipping. And Yadro is a very, um, it's a bolo. It's a big bud, a big money bolo for sure. The next item she sold is this vintage rabbit paper mache and uh, paper mache in general. Typically, if you can find the Halloween paper mache, the Easter, they can be big money bolos. Always, always, always look them up. She got this at an antique store for $12.50 and she sold it for a best offer of $75. The next item here is this old 1900s antique Catholic it's a, a last rites wall art, but she said that it was super, super heavy. And um, I think she said it was $125 to ship it. So it comes with all of this stuff here. And you can see the back. It's, you know, kind of deep. Let's see, what'd she sell it for? She bought it at an estate sale for $85 and she sold it for $364, which was her asking price plus $125 shipping. Okay, the next item comes from Be Carried Away. And she just hit 1,000 subscribers. So thank you to everyone that's following her. Carrie is also a moderator of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So go show her some love with a sub and thank her for helping out with the craziness in the Facebook group because it is a big Facebook group. All right. Are you ready to see what she sold? This is absolutely amazing. Um, it's a dollhouse and she sold this on Etsy for $699. So I know that um, she's using List Perfectly to cross post. 
If you guys are not cross posting your items, definitely think about it. Etsy is a great platform for these types of items. I need to do better at getting my vintage items over on Etsy, but I also use list perfectly. There's a demo video down below where I show you guys how to use it. If you'd like to check that out. Um, I just start on eBay and cross post to the other platforms. Um, my referral code is Bolo Buddies, all one word. That will get you 30% off your first month if you want to check it out. So she bought this dollhouse for $60 off Facebook Marketplace and sold it for $699. Go, Carrie. That is awesome. The next item is this Lily Pulitzer uh, jacket. And she actually has a video where she shows her um, when she was sourcing these. She does a lot of thrift with me videos, but keeps them very educational. You guys will really like them. This one sold for 110 best offer, and she got it at a Salvation Army for $4.99. She also got this one for $4.99 and sold it for $99. And this one's pretty simple. So it's got the little shape across the bottom, but she's really great with keywords. So she probably knows scalloped. Would that be what it's called? Scalloped? I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyway, definitely go check her out. All right. We have Dawn's One Stop Shop. Um, no YouTube channel, just an eBay store. And again, lots of really great vintage, cool items. Uh, so definitely check him out. Let's do a little bit more here, see what he's got. And what did he sell? He sold this Hanson Model 60 Metal Hanging Dairy Scale. And he got this at a yard sale for five bucks and took a best offer of $65 plus shipping on this. What's it say? Not, not legal for trade, huh? All right. Okay. Now this one, I want to talk about this because in my um, Vero video, the one, the items to not sell water filters keep coming up. So, um, is this the type of water filter for, I mean, I've had so many people tell me they've had water filters removed. I don't know if it's certain brands, but these are water filters and he sold them. He did not have an issue, but, um, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's certain brands or people, some are counterfeit. I have no idea, but watch out for these. I'm not listing water filters ever because, Everybody has me scared. So do your research before you list water filters. But he got these at an estate sale for three bucks and he sold these on a best offer of 40 plus shipping. And if you guys want to see those videos about items not to list, I have, I think five of them up right now and I'm working on a couple more. You can just go to my channel and type Vero into the search. Or if you go to uh, just the YouTube search bar and put Bolo Buddies Vero, it should pull them up but lots of great information, things I did not know about. The next item is this Coca-Cola Barbie from 1998. He got her at a buyout for five bucks and he sold her for $45 plus shipping. The next item comes from Jack's Treasures and they are also over on TikTok. They're doing more on TikTok, I think now than they are YouTube. So definitely go over there and check them out. Um, what did they sell? They sold this flatware, amazing yard sale pickup for $5 and they sold this for $240. So if you can identify the, um, the pattern and put that in your title, that is gonna help you sell it. And you know, this is a pretty big set and someone was probably just looking for this pattern. And that is a nice big money bolo right there. The next one they sold is this Star Wars, the Black Series Luke Skywalker Electronic X-Wing Pilot Helmet. They got this out of a storage unit and they ended up taking a best offer of $135 on this. Box has been opened but appears new. These are Disney Store The Nightmare Before Christmas mugs. So I recently found Nightmare Before Christmas ornaments and I've already sold two. Um, one of them, I think. They were both in the high 40s, I think. Big money in the Nightmare Before Christmas if you can find the right thing. So definitely be on the lookout. And these mugs sold better as a lot. So they looked them up individually and it was more profitable for them to sell the three of them together. They ended up selling these for $90, best offer, and they got them out of a storage unit. 
The next item comes from Terry Mindful Recycle. And she is a big money bolo finder. She is also a moderator of the Facebook group. Go show her some love. Franklin Hill Ventures is also a moderator of the Facebook group. I appreciate them helping me out so much because it is a lot to take care of. All right. So let's see what Terry found here. Terry found this Laura Ashley hat and she gave me credit for teaching her about straw hats, which is funny because I always give credit to Butterfly Hustles, which is another YouTube channel for teaching me about straw hats because I saw um, Carol over at Butterfly Hustles selling these hats like crazy. And I'm like, I'm going to do this. And I have probably sold six or seven straw hats now. So I love it that Terry is now selling straw hats because of me. And, you know, it's just like that chain of watching other YouTubers and learning and then finding those items. So it just shows that it works. She got this at an estate sale for $5 and sold it for $99 plus shipping. It is a Laura Ashley Cottage Core Summer Spring Boater Victorian Straw Hat. Uh, red bow and rim. So great keywords. The next one is this Atari. She got this at an estate sale for $40 and sold it for $450 plus shipping. She also got another one that sold right around the same price range. I'm telling you, she finds crazy stuff at estate sales. Check out her videos. Okay, these Pokemon cards. So there's a story behind this. She went to, I believe it was a church sale or some sort of sale. Yes, it was a church sale. The Pokemon card, she added up the total and then threw in the cards for free. <laughs> so Terry had no idea that they were valued at this much until she got home and researched them. But the people at the sale, they probably just didn't know and were like, here, just take them, you know, no big deal. We'll just throw them in. You're buying this other stuff. And um, she sold this one for $310 and she sold this set for $99. 400 bucks between the two of them. Is that amazing or what? That is awesome. Like here, have this free bolo. All right, Toledo Antique is next. Um, they are also bolo finders. They run estate sales and they are just super, super knowledgeable in things that I know nothing about. So definitely go check out their channel. They're getting really close to 2K. Sub them up. Again, all these channels are linked down below. They are fantastic. Um, handmade Swiss red pine wooden alfhorn instrument with mouthpiece. Like what? What is that? Uh, look how big it is. Oh my goodness. I would not want to ship that. Um, they, this was a consignment item. They also do consignment. I believe they do 50-50 split. This sold for $115.50 um, plus shipping. The next item here is this antique 1800 Staffordshire, England, a pink marble. Uh, it's a tea set. And they took a best offer and I don't know what they ended up selling it for. So I apologize. It said that it sold for full price, but it's slashed through. So they must've had it mixed up with something else. This is what it looks like on the bottom. And they got this at an estate sale for $4. And the next item here is this Sea Pow Pottery Blue Urn with Lid and Flowers. And this one came from an antique store. They paid $24 for it. And this one also says full price and it's marked, marked through. So I don't know. I'm not sure what they ended up selling it for. I apologize for that. Um, next time I'll try to be more careful about checking to see if there was a best offer taken. So thank you guys all so much for being here. Again, these are members of my YouTube channel. If you would like to join memberships to be a part of this video, there is a link down in the description. There's a join button, but sometimes it doesn't show up. So um, like on certain phones, I think. So I do have it linked in the description. It's also under my link tree. So there's going to be some videos popping up here and here and a subscribe and another video. Check out another video. Oh, and if you want to be in the video for the perks, it's level two for memberships. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. No pressure to join memberships. It's just if you want to be in the video. My channel is completely free. Memberships, memberships are for perks. Thanks for watching.